Welcome to our video series, sponsored by the American Heart Association and Hearts and Parks Association in collaboration with the Duke Healthy Lifestyles Program and the Duke Center for Eating Disorders. We will cover a lot of ground today, but our focus is on the importance of role modeling and listening when a family is working to become healthier. Let's tune in to Michael and his father as they navigate their daily dessert. Hi, Dad. Hello, Michael. Whoa, Michael, put that cookie down. You're supposed to be losing weight. You can't have that cookie. You're overweight, and you're eating cookies. Well, I'm an adult and it's my house. I get to decide whether I'm gonna eat cookies or not. How is that fair? You're a hypocrite. Michael, it's fair because I bought these cookies and you better not talk back to me that way again. I'm in charge of this house. That's not the point. You just don't get it. You don't get me at all. You see, you're completely out of control over these cookies. That's why we have to manage you around them. You just don't get me. 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 What's that? Sounds like Michael's in trouble. This is a job for Captain Validation. <laughs> Why, hello there. Does someone here feel misunderstood? Oh yeah, it's Captain Validation. Thank goodness you're here. My dad doesn't get me at all. My son doesn't get me at all. Hmm, what seems to be the trouble? Well, my parents are worried about my weight. They want me to lose weight so I don't get diabetes like my grandfather. But I exercise all the time, and now they're saying I can't have so many cookies. But my dad doesn't exercise at all, and he's sitting there eating cookies. Can you explain to me how that's fair? So, Michael, if I am understanding you, it seems like you understand why your parents want you to be healthy. It just upsets you that your dad is not trying to be healthy with you. Yes, Captain Validation. I'm scared for him. My grandpa has diabetes, and I don't want my dad to die early from it. It makes me mad and scared to see him not take care of himself. It also makes it a lot harder for me to not eat all the cookies when I see him eating them. I just want to forget about being healthy. I want to just not care and eat all the cookies I want. So when I see my dad eating cookies, I think, what the heck, dad is doing it. Maybe it isn't such a big deal. I'm sick of worrying about it. So it sounds like you're worried about your dad and sad that he's making it harder for you to be healthy. You got it, Captain Validation. So dad, let's see you flex your superhero validation muscles. Remember that the secret weapon in validation is that you try to understand where the other person is coming from. It doesn't matter if you agree with him or not, or whether you think he's right or wrong. It is really powerful for someone just to feel heard and understood. Dad, think you're ready to give it a try? For sure. Despite what my son thinks, I am a really good listener. So what was your son trying to say? Well, it sounds like my son is worried about me. When I eat a bunch of cookies, it makes it harder for him not to eat a bunch of cookies, too. I get that, son. It means a lot that you're worried about my health. And it is hard not to eat cookies when they're lying around the house. But I can't not have cookies around. I work hard. It's a treat for me. Okay, let's hear your side of the story. Well, I've been struggling to be healthy my whole life. I just love food. Food makes me really happy. It brings back wonderful memories of being with my mom and family and having big Sunday dinners. My life is really stressful now. I work really hard, and when I come home, I just want to treat myself with something delicious. I certainly don't want anything to harm my son. But I should get to do what I want in my own house. If he is going to grow up and be healthy, he's going to have to learn how to deal with pressures. Dad, thanks so much for sharing that. Sounds like there's a lot of really complicated issues at play here. Michael, what did you hear your dad say? Where do you think he's coming from? I can relate to a lot of what my dad said. My dad said he loves food and eating makes him really happy after a long day of work and it's hard time giving that up. And he's even been trying it his whole life. I don't want to make things hard for my dad, but I sure wish it could be easier.
Now that you both have a better sense of where ETU is coming from, can you think of any solutions to make this better? No, I actually have an idea. As I was just remembering what it was like for me to eat the delicious cookies that my mom made, one thing that was a big difference was that I used to eat them really slowly and savor them and really enjoy the taste of them. I didn't eat a lot of them because I didn't need to. When I really slowed down and enjoyed them, I was satisfied with just one or two. Now I stress eat them so quickly, I barely even taste them. If I'm being honest with myself, they don't really make me happy. The memories of my family do. Dad, family is so important. What if we spent more time together? Maybe you could even teach me to make grandma's favorite cookie recipe. I can certainly use some help with eating things more slowly. Maybe we could gently remind each other about it. I would love that, son. My work here is done. May you enjoy time with your family and slow things down a bit. Till next time.